you doing, man? I'm doing good, nervous, but I'm doing good. Nobody believes in Connor Doran more than his mom, but he says even she didn't believe he could make it to America's Got Talent. I just didn't listen to her, and I said, I don't care, I want to do it. I watch the show all the time, and I, I pictured myself flying my kite up on that stage. In the arms of the angel. Pictured himself all the way to the top 12. He often practices at Puget Sound Laundry in Kent, anywhere he can find a high ceiling. I would sneak in my high school gym uh, every day and practice for like two hours. He's battled epilepsy, a learning disorder, and doubts all his life, especially when it comes to flying indoors. They don't think it's possible. It is the opposite of flying outdoors. You actually don't want wind. Moving the kite around, that's creating the wind for you. If I stood in one place, the kite would just fall over. Connor finds himself by losing himself. It just gets me in the zone. Connor He was a natural from the start, like his first competition in Long Beach, Washington. I flew it all around the gym and I won third place the next day. He invented his own move called the Matrix. The reason why I call it a Matrix is because the way, it's because of how close the kite is to you. His kite took him all the way to Italy, where he was invited to fly an indoor kite outdoors at a recent festival. It's not easy to do. You like, I could have easily shattered my kite into pieces. He says he enjoys flying outside just as much, like on that same trip, when this just happened out of the blue. And we all just started doing like uh, precision maneuvers, kind of like the Blue Angels. Impressive as there are four flyers somehow not getting their strings all tangled up. And there were like hundreds of people videoing and thousands of people watching from the sidelines. Wow. Connor kind of felt on the sidelines when Northwest Center came alongside and helped him find a job. They told us about his story. I definitely have a lot of support. Um, Whereas if I didn't, I would definitely feel a lot more intimidated and alone. <laughs> but no matter what, he'll always have his kite. Like once I pick the kite up, it's just something I can't put down. Thanks, Mike.